Now to another ABC News exclusive interview with Peter Roger. He is the father of Elliot Roger, the young man who killed six and wounded 13 in a shooting rampage near UC Santa Barbara last month. Barbara Walters is here with us sharing more from her revealing interview. We've never heard from a parent of a shooter. No, this is the first time that a parent of a shooter has, has spoken out. Uh, we sat down with Peter Roger for mm -hmm. an intense two-hour interview and he spoke very candidly about his struggles with his son Elliot for almost all of his son's life. He thought that his son might be suicidal, but he never thought that he would be homicidal. And by the way, he is the first parent to speak out on television. Uh, he feels it's his mission. So we'll take a look. There have been numerous school shootings. None of the parents of other shooters have spoken with us. Why did you decide that you would speak up? The only reason I'm here is to tell his story to try and stop this happening again. How did you learn that your son was the shooter? I thought he was a victim, and it wasn't until 4.35 a.m. that I found out by going on the internet that he was the main suspect and there was only one killer. And uh, when I saw that, it was like, it's, 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 it's one's worst nightmare. I, I can't describe the feelings. Mr. Roger, Elliot was your son and he is dead. How do you mourn a child whom others vilify? It's very hard, Barbara. It's very, very hard. After reading the journal, I, uh, I had a lot of anger for him. And I think my job now is to try and replace that anger with love and forgiveness. But at the same time, I'm haunted by this disease, this human being that changed and became something else. The father of Adam Lanza now says that there are times he wishes his son had never been born. Do you ever feel that way? That's a really loaded question. Um, I... That's a loaded question, Barbara. A part of me says yes. And the reason is because he did an awful lot of harm to young men and young women who didn't deserve to die. And my son did it. Yeah, can and you to, imagine what that feels like? Oh. Yeah. Well, I also, I'm, I'm also thinking of the families who, That's right. who, who lost a, a loved one. And, and so is he. Yeah. yeah. So many people are warning signs, warning signs, wanting to know if there were warning signs. You know, that's the big question. Were there warning signs? The son was an introvert. He didn't have friends. He didn't have girlfriends. He had a lot of problems. He was afraid his son might want to kill himself, but it never occurred to him, Robert, mm -hmm. that his son would want to kill others. And no matter what the warning signs, how do you know? How do you know? All right, Barbara, always good to see you. Thank you. And we will see much more, all of Barbara's interview with Peter Roger tonight on 2020 at 10, 9 central right here on ABC.